Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. So in today's video, we are going to talk about VLSI Verification Engineer Profile. So if you are someone looking to start your career in VLSI field, then check out these videos. I have already provided VLSI Physical Design Profile, then uh, Design Engineer Profile. So link is given in the description. Check out those videos. So starting with the Verification Engineer Job Profile. A VLSI verification engineer plays a crucial role in ensuring the correctness and functionality of a digital design before they are fabricated into a silicon. Mean to say they ensures that the designs are reliable, robust and ready for the fabrication. Their work involves creating the detailed test plans, developing test benches, running the simulations and debugging the issues in the design. And they do all these things while collaborating closely with the design engineers. These verification engineers verifies that the design meets its performance and all the functionalities as per the expectation under the various conditions. Their work is critical in the IC design flow to catch and fix the flaws early in the development process. So yes, we can say this role is essential for the success of any VLSI project because these engineers ensure that the final product meets all its required specifications. Talking about the work and responsibilities of a verification engineer. First is test plan development. They create a comprehensive plan that outlines the verification strategies. For that, they analyze the design specifications and requirements. Also, they develop a detailed test plan covering all the functional aspects of the design. They identify the critical paths, corner cases and potential failure points. Next is test bench creation. So for that, these engineers create a simulation environment to test the design. For that, they write the test benches by using hardware description languages like uh, Verilog or the system Verilog. Well, for verification purpose, system Verilog is more preferred as compared to the Verilog because it has some advanced features which we not have in the Verilog. Also, they integrate the test benches with the design under the test that is DUT. They create and manage various test scenarios to ensure the comprehensive coverage. Next is simulation. So by a simulation, they verify the design functionality. They run simulations by using different simulation tools like model sim, questa sim, etc. By applying different different test vectors, they analyze the simulation results. They debug and fix discrepancies between the actual and the expected design. Next is coverage analysis, which ensures that all the parts of the design are tested. For that, they use coverage metrics to measure the extent of verification. They identify untested areas and develop additional tests as needed. They utilize the tools like Cadence or Synopsis for the coverage analysis. Formal verification that mathematically prove that the design meets all its specification. They apply formal verification techniques to validate the critical design paths. And for that, they integrate formal methods with the traditional simulation-based verification. Next is debugging, which identifies and resolves the design issues. It analyzes simulation failures and identify root causes. These engineers work closely with the front-end design engineers to understand the design intent. Also, they fix bugs and verify the correctness of the implemented solution. Assertion-based verification. So, to enhance the verification process, they use assertions. They write assertions in system Verilog or similar languages. Then integrate these assertions to check the design properties and invariants. So basically these assertions are integrated into the test bench in order to check the design properties. After the failure of these assertions, they perform debugging accordingly. So these are the roles and responsibilities of a verification engineer. And I hope now it is clear to you what is a design engineer profile and what is a verification engineer profile. A design engineer focuses uh, into the designing and implementation of a circuit. 
however a verification engineer test the design they ensure that the design is working properly as per the requirement mean to say whatever design is created by a design engineer a verification engineer test that design whether the design is working properly or not whether it is reliable whether it is correct or not so a verification engineer's role complements the design engineer's work by providing a rigorous testing also by validating the framework and catching the errors that might not be evident in the initial design phase so let's see a quick difference between a design engineer and a verification engineer profile so design engineer is responsible for architecture rtl design synthesis and timing analysis they use hdls like verilog or vhdl for designing and implementation they focuses on creating efficient and high performance design however a verification engineer is responsible for test plan creation test bench development simulation and debugging they uses hdls and verification languages like system verilog also they focuses on ensuring the design meets specification and is free of bugs talking about the career growth and future scope of verification engineers so verification is becoming increasingly important because the design is going more and more complex so yes the demand for skilled verification engineers are increasing As of 2024 the future outlook for verification engineers especially in India remains highly positive. India is increasingly becoming a hub for semiconductor design and verification with multinational companies and startups. And this is the reason the need for rigorous verification processes becomes paramount. There is a rising demand for verification engineers skilled in verification methodologies like UVM that is universal verification methodology and the system verilog formal verification artificial intelligence and machine learning applications are now increasingly being integrated into the semiconductor designs so here verification engineers are needed to validate these ai accelerators so overall the future scope of verification engineers in india is robust increasing complexity in semiconductor designs and the country's position as a key player in the global semiconductor ecosystem continuous learning adaptability to new technologies and specialization in niche areas will be crucial for professionals looking to excel in this dynamic field talking about the salary hike and growth so companies usually offer 4 to 8 lpa to the freshers and after 2 to 3 years of experience you can easily get up to uh, uh, 10 or 15 lpa and after 5 to 10 years of experience you will get even more than 25 or 30 lpa so it totally depends upon your skills and the company in which you are working now if you are interested in this field and planning to start your career in verification then these are the subjects which you need to learn first is digital logic design so make a strong command in this subject this subject is all about logic gates then your combinational and sequential circuits your state machine and the memory design next is computer architecture here you learn about the working of cpu memory hierarchies and data paths vlsi design is also important because here you will get the basic understanding of the cmos technology and the uh, circuit design hardware description language is must make a strong command on either verilog or vhdl and for verification purpose start focusing on this system verilog also the uvm that is universal verification methodology scripting languages like perl and python is also important for automation point of view so guys these all are very interesting subjects and try to start learning from your btech second year itself prepare well for your semester exams and try to make some basic and advanced level projects by using hdls now what tools you guys need to learn so i think for verification point of view model sim and questa sim will be more than enough for verification framework you can go with the uvm and ovm If you feel that your fundamental is not strong and uh, you are feeling underconfident not 
having strong concept in all these core subjects then here i am recommending some online courses to you guys few of these courses are free and few are paid so check out their websites for more details first is coursera so here you will get vlsi cad part 1 that is for logic and vlsi cad part 2 that is for the layout on udemy you will get system verilog for verification and also the uvm basics and advanced topics in nptel you will get vlsi design and digital circuits so guys i have not joined these courses personally but my uh, colleagues have joined and their feedback is quite good so that's why i am recommending to you you can check their websites for all the course related detail and if you are finding it useful then you can join the course so this is it guys this is about today's video we have seen vlsi verification engineer profile in detail if you have any doubt leave a comment below for placement related guidance check out this playlist there i have provide in depth details related to all your placements your resume building your off campus drive everything is there so check these videos and share with your friends hit the like button if you found this video useful i'll see you in the next video